Okay everyone, this is a very, very quick guide to using a laser collimator to collimate your Newtonian telescope. I've popped the laser collimator into the focuser and I've got the target face on that laser collimator pointing down towards the bottom of the telescope where the primary mirror adjustment screws are. But before we touch those, we want to come at the business end of the telescope. Before peering down there to see what the red dot's doing, I've placed a white sheet of paper opposite the opening. And if you see a red dot on there, basically, you know it's missing, the, the red dot's missing the secondary mirror and flying out the front of that telescope tube. So that will let you know that you don't want to stick your head down there. But because we can't see a red dot on that paper, we can tentatively look down at the primary mirror without getting blinded with a bit of look. Okay, so I'm hoping you can see the central donut that's in the middle of the primary mirror down there. It's like a black li little circle. And at the 10 o'clock position, just above it, there's a red dot. Now we need to make adjustments to the secondary holder screws, but you don't want to make big adjustments to it. You just want to make small adjustments with an Allen key. So I'm just very slightly undoing one screw and tightening another by the same amount, but I'm only doing it like one sixteenth of a turn and then seeing what happens to that red dot, see whether it gets closer to the circle or not. If it goes further away, I'll try a different screw. You can actually get some aftermarket screws that make this easier called Bob's Knobs and they're just like nuts with plastic tops on that you can just turn so you don't need to use an Allen key. I think I've made it worse. So I need to undo that. Ah, yeah, that's moving it closer. So I'm undoing one and then doing another screw by a similar amount. And that's bringing that closer now. Okay, so hopefully you can see that that red dot is now in the center of that little donut that's in the center of the primary mirror. So bang center in the primary mirror. The next thing we want to do now is move around the bottom of the telescope to where the primer, primary mirror screws are. So these screws, we've got three big ones, there, there, and there. And then we've got some smaller ones there next to the big ones, basically. The small ones on this telescope are what we call locking screws. And they just, once you've got collimation, you just kind of tweak those up gently just to help keep that collimation set. So before we move anything, we wanna just undo the locking screws off a turn, all the way around, I've already done that. And then we can make adjustments to these screws until that red dot sits in the center of that target. So let me do that now. So before that was out there, just by turning one of those primary mirror screws, I've brought that almost into the center. That's just one more, see where it goes. Oh, that one goes that way. I think that's pretty bang center. Okay. All I'm gonna do now is tighten up those locking screws just a tiny bit, not, I'm not gonna over tighten them. And job done. So what you've just witnessed is a very rough and ready laser collimation, but it's important to be aware that it's only gonna get you 90% of the way there. And it's really important to do that defocusing of a star to check that you're, you've got that classic donut shape. There's all these screws that you tighten down on the adapter that you stick the laser collimator into, and that, that applies a bit of tilt. So what I've done is I've switched that for a self-centering adapter. And if I look down the primary end now, at the primary mirror, the dot is slightly off, not too bad. But when I come down here and look at the target for making adjustments to the primary mirror screws, you can see that that is just very slightly out now. The next thing to do is once you've got your telescope set up under the stars, you can use a high magnification eyepiece 
to zoom right in on something like Polaris, which isn't going to move if you've not got a tracking mount. And you can just defocus it and make sure it looks like a perfectly symmetrical donut. If it looks like a perfectly symmetrical donut, then you were successful with collimating your telescope with a laser collimator before you even went outside. So that's the end of this quick tutorial on how to collimate your Newtonian telescope with a laser collimator. It doesn't go over absolutely everything, like it doesn't cover like how far in and out your secondary mirror needs to be towards the primary mirror because you need a collimation cap for that. So I've only covered what a laser collimator can do, but it should be enough to get you out there and get you focused on the stars, get you a sharp focus on the star, which is what you want, isn't it? <laughs> you want sharp focus. So thank you. If you enjoyed that, consider giving me a like and maybe subscribe if you like my content and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.